This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create a pop-up menu inside of ZBrush? So first we need to know what a pop-up menu is. So let's say I'm working on my model here, and I hover over it, and I just have a hotkey set, so I'm just gonna press V on my keyboard. And when I press V on my keyboard, you're gonna notice I'm gonna get this menu to pop up. And in here I have a palette that has all bunch of different options in here that I can come through and apply to my model. So if I wanna crease things through here, I can just click on crease or uncrease all and change the tolerance for my creasing here. And basically this allows me to access these different parts of ZBrush in one menu that I can just pull up at any time while I'm working on my model. So how can I create a menu like this? So to start off, to get this menu to pop up, you just need to assign a hotkey to an existing palette inside of ZBrush. So these are your palettes up at the top here. So let's pick something, say, like the light palette, and I'm just gonna dock this over to the side over here. So to get this palette to pop up, the same way I'm getting this palette to pop up here, I just need to assign a hotkey to this palette. So I'm gonna hover over the name of the palette here, which in this case is light, and I'm gonna hold Control and Alt and then click, now after you click on this text, you next just need to press the button you want the hotkey to be applied to. So in this case, I'm gonna press V, and this is going to assign that to that V key. Now when I hover over my model and I press V, you're gonna notice that light menu is gonna pop up right here. So this will allow you to come through and you can set any of these palettes in here to a hotkey. So say if I set this picker one here, so hold Control and Alt and click, and then I'm gonna set this to say B. Now if I hover over my model and press B, I'm getting the picker area, and if I hover over my model and press V, I'm getting the light area. So you can even assign multiple palettes to different hotkeys on your keyboard. Now you may not want the light palette or the picker palette to be the palettes that come up here. You may wanna create your own. So to do this, we just need to enable the customize UI option and then create a custom palette. So I'm just gonna reset ZBrush here and we're gonna create a new palette and then we're gonna assign it to a hotkey to make a custom pop-up UI. So now I've restarted ZBrush here to get rid of all those changes I just made. And now we're just gonna create a custom palette and then we're gonna take that palette and link it to a hotkey to give us that custom menu. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand this side divider over here and it's gonna open up like so. And then I'm gonna to go to Preferences, I'm gonna to go to Config, and I'm gonna enable Customize right here. Now, if you've never set up a custom UI inside of ZBrush, it's pretty simple. You basically just need to enable this option here. And now you can come through and simply hold Control and Alt and click on an interface item, and you'll be able to drag it around your screen. So if I didn't want the Expose option to live there, I can hold Control and Alt and drag it up here, and now it's gonna live there on my interface. If I don't want this option at all to be visible right here, I can hold Control and Alt again and just drag off and release, and it's gonna remove it from my UI. So if you ever wanna remove the Quick Sketch button or the Lightbox or Projection Master, just hold that Control and Alt and just click and drag it right off. You can pretty much move anything you want inside of ZBrush except for the Subtool Palette items over here. So all the other buttons, if you wanna duplicate, you know, I can move that up, you can use a pen, you can pretty much customize your interface to your liking. So this is extremely powerful to let you get access to all the tools that you may use regularly without having to go through all these menus. Now we can take this a step further by generating our own custom palette. So if we go to Preferences again, and here we have a Custom UI option here, and this is going to allow us to create a new menu. And so this new menu option here, when we click this, it's gonna let us enter our name. So we're gonna do, say, Modeling Tools, and then click that. And now you're gonna notice up at the top here, I have a modeling tools palette. And after you click this, it's gonna resort in alphabetical order here. And I'm just gonna open up this modeling tools palette here, and I'm just gonna drag it over here to the side. And this is gonna allow me to add different features over here and work on this a little bit easier. Now I'm gonna go back to preferences here, and now I need to create a little custom sub palette. So as you see, here's a tool menu over here, and we have these nice little sub palettes inside this tool menu. So I'm gonna go back to preferences, I'm gonna hold that Control and Alt and drag this custom sub palette over here and then release, and now I have a custom sub palette. So now at this area, I can start dragging things in here. So let's say I go to the Geometry tab here, I'm gonna go to Crease, and I really wanna use this Crease Polygroup. I end up using it a lot, so we're gonna hold Control and Alt. 
drag that over here. And then let's say I use hmm, polygroups, auto groups a lot. So drag that over here. And then let's drag some brushes as well. So I'm going to take the brush palette here. I'm just going to dock it to the side. And then I'm going to drag, say, the Z modeler brush. So I'm just going to make sure I have a little icon like this. Drag that guy over. And then maybe the clay buildup brush as well. So now you can see I'm building my own little custom interface over here. Now after you have some items dragged in this window, you can rename this. So just hold Control and Alt again and click the text. You're going to be able to rename this. So I'm going to just say brushes. Now I can add another sub palette if I want. So if we go back to preferences here, custom UI, and then hold Control and Alt, and then drag that custom sub palette back up to the modeling tab here. And now I'm going to get another palette. Now I can start even adding more stuff. So let's say, go down here to the geometry tab here. Let's say I use reconstruct subdivision. And then maybe we can put the Dynamesh tab over there. And then we'll put the Dynamesh resolution slider. So all this is done by just holding Control and Alt and dragging. And it's going to drag that stuff over there. So now I have a resolution slider and the Dynamesh button. And we can rename this with Control Alt and click. We'll say Dynamesh. Now after we have this palette the way we like it, we're just going to go back to Preferences, and we're going to disable this Enable Customize. And now we're going to get ZBrush back to this stage. So now that we're out of that Enable Customize, we can now use that Control alt again, and this is going to allow us to sign that hotkey. So I can hover over the text up here for the modeling tool, hold Control alt and click, and then I'm going to press V on my keyboard. And so now this palette is assigned to that V hotkey. So I go back to my model, you know, say I'm sculpting on stuff, I hit V, and I'm going to get that nice palette to pop up like so. So now I can select the clay brush, crease by polygroups, and do everything I want right there, quick and easy, through that pop-up. Now after you have this stuff configured out, and you have this pop-up saved, you can save this out, so next time when you start ZBrush, this is already there. Just go to Config and Store Config, and that's going to remember this top palette here. Now you also have to save your hotkeys too, since we set that custom hotkey. Just go to the hotkey menu here and just click store. And that's going to store that V hotkey there to make sure when you press V, it's going to open up your modeling tool palette. Now after this is all done, just close ZBrush and restart. And when you restart, all your interface should be the same as you left it. And if you hover over your model and press V, you're going to end up getting that custom pop-up menu. So that is how you can create a pop-up menu inside of ZBrush, and then also configure a custom palette to live inside of this pop-up. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.